Greetings, everyone, and welcome to semester two at Trinity College Theological School. With classes resuming this week at the University of Divinity, I know many of you have been quite busy as you shift back into theological study. We are, of course, still in lockdown and restricted in our ability to gather together to study and to worship. So as in semester one, all of our activities at the theological school will continue online for the foreseeable future. Each of us, uh, staff, students, and faculty, are disappointed and discouraged that we cannot yet return to our classrooms for face-to-face -face learning, or to our offices for work, or to our churches for worship. Our anxiety, disappointment, and dismay continue as our lockdown carries on here in Victoria. But I would like to encourage each of you to plug into the resources that are available for our community at Trinity College Theological School. We continue with daily morning prayer by Zoom. Students and staff gather for virtual afternoon tea on Mondays. And our faculty continue to offer meaningful online meditations that are marking the unprecedented season in which we all find ourselves. And the teaching staff at the Theological School remain committed to creating the most effective online learning community possible. If you are a student at the Theological School, I would encourage you to reach out to your instructors if you have any questions or concerns about your classes, or simply if you are looking for support and assistance. The teaching staff uh, may not be able to provide you the help that you need, but they certainly can direct you to someone who can. Now, I'm recording this message on the 31st of July, the Feast of Joseph of Arimathea in our church calendar. According to the Gospels, Joseph was a wealthy follower of Jesus who boldly went to Pontius Pilate and asked to bury Jesus' body after his death on the cross. Ever since, Joseph of Arimathea has been remembered as both a faithful and a courageous follower of Jesus. So on this feast of Joseph of Arimathea, it is my prayer that each of you, like Joseph, remain faithful to your calling and courageous in living it out, particularly during this time of ongoing pandemic lockdown. Thank you for listening, and may God bless each of you and those closest to you. See you next time.